Okay, real talk. Have you ever asked your AI to solve a problem and thought, wow, this thing's basically a genius? Like, it spits out these step-by-step -step explanations that make you go, yeah, okay, I see how you got there. But what if it's all a big act? Apple, the ones we've been teasing for playing catch-up in AI, just dropped a research paper that's got the whole industry scrambling. The illusion of thinking. No joke, that's the title. And it's basically their way of saying, hey world, your fancy AI might not be as smart as it pretends. They dug into models like Claude and GPT, testing them on puzzles that sound simple but get insanely tough. And what they found? Mind-blowing stuff that exposes the cracks in AI's so-called reasoning. Think about it. We've been trusting these systems to plan our trips, write our emails, even make decisions. But what if they're just piecing together old tricks from their training data, faking the deep thoughts? Seriously, this paper's got researchers arguing online, stocks dipping, and me. I'm obsessed. Stick around, because this changes how you see AI forever. And I promise, you won't want to hit pause. The paper they published has possibly the most savage title in academic history, The Illusion of Thinking. I mean, come on, that's not research, that's a declaration of war. That's Apple basically walking into a room full of AI researchers and going, yeah, this is about all those reasoning breakthroughs you've been bragging about. Now, testing whether AI actually thinks is hard, like, really hard. Most AI benchmarks are kind of useless for this, because there's always this nagging question, did the model actually solve the problem? Or did it just remember the answer from somewhere in its training data? It's like giving a student a test where all the questions are from last year's exam that they definitely studied. You can't tell if they understand the material or if they just have a good memory. So Apple's team got creative. They went old school. They pulled out these classic computer science puzzles that professors have been torturing students with for decades. Tower of Hanoi, river crossing problems, checker jumping, you know, the kind of stuff that makes you question your life choices. And since they're generating these puzzles from scratch, there's zero chance the AI has seen the exact solution before. It's a clean test. No cheating, no memorization, just pure reasoning. Or, so they thought. They set up this beautiful experiment. Take the same AI model, literally identical in every way, but test one version with reasoning enabled and another without. So they're comparing Claude 3.7 Sonnet with thinking versus Claude 3.7 Sonnet without thinking. Same brain, different modes. Both versions get the same computational budget, up to 64,000 tokens to work with. And what they found is wild. The results split into three zones. And I'm not even kidding when I say this. It's like watching someone's entire academic career compressed into a single graph. Zone one, the overachiever problem. Simple puzzles. This is where things get weird right off the bat. The reasoning models got destroyed by the regular models. Zone two, the sweet spot, medium complexity problems. This is where the reasoning models earn their keep. They start breaking down problems systematically, exploring different approaches, actually doing what you'd expect from a thinking system. Zone three, the cliff high complexity problems. And everything just falls apart, not gradually, not elegantly, like driving off a cliff. Both reasoning and non-reasoning models hit zero accuracy. Complete failure, game over. Doesn't matter how much computational power they have left, they just can't handle it. But here's the part that should terrify anyone who's been betting their company's future on AI reasoning. As the problems got harder, instead of working harder, the reasoning models actually started giving up. You'd think they'd use more thinking tokens as complexity increased, right? That's what any rational person would do. Nope. DeepSeek R1, for example, would use 15,000 thinking tokens on a moderately hard puzzle, really working through it step by step. But throw a harder puzzle at it? Suddenly drops to 3,000 tokens, even though it has 64,000 tokens available. Now, if you're thinking, okay, maybe they just need better algorithms. Apple's team thought of that too. They literally handed the models the complete solution for Tower of Hanoi. Step-by-step -step instructions. Didn't need to figure anything out. Just follow the recipe. They still failed at the same points. Claude 3.7 Sonnet could follow about 100 steps correctly out of 1,023 needed, then completely broke down. It's not a creativity problem. It's not even a problem-solving problem. It's a fundamental failure in executing logical sequences. When this research hit the internet, oh man, the AI community exploded. And I mean nuclear-level explosion. Gary Marcus, you know, the guy who's been saying neural networks are overhyped since before it was cool, basically did a victory lap. But the pushback was intense. Kevin Bryan from University of Toronto was like, hold up, maybe this isn't exposing a weakness in intelligence. Maybe it's just how these models are trained. These systems are optimized to avoid overthinking simple problems, partly for efficiency, partly to save money on compute costs, which is a fair point. If you train a model to not waste resources, maybe it learns to give up when problems look computationally expensive. Sean Godeke made a similar argument. When DeepSeek sees a puzzle needs thousands of moves, it probably thinks, this is going to blow my token budget, and doesn't even try. But here's what really caught my attention in Apple's research. 
They didn't just look at whether the models got the right answer. They dug into the actual reasoning traces, the step-by-step -step thought processes. On easy puzzles, Claude would often find the correct answer early in its thinking process, but then waste hundreds of tokens chasing obviously wrong paths, like it knew the answer but couldn't help overthinking it. On medium puzzles, it would get stuck in completely incorrect reasoning first, then stumble onto the right answer later by accident. And on hard puzzles, the correct answer never appeared, not once. Across 64,000 tokens of thinking, it never even got close to the right approach. This pattern showed up everywhere, every model, every puzzle. It's like watching someone's problem-solving ability systematically break down as things get complex. While Apple's researchers are quietly dismantling the reasoning narrative in their labs, the company is preparing for WWDC, their big annual Look How Innovative We Are event. And what did they lead with? Design changes, pretty animations, translucent buttons that look like glass. I'm not saying it doesn't look gorgeous. It does. But Wall Street was not impressed. Apple stock dropped over 1% immediately. Analysts were basically like, we came here for AI breakthroughs and you're showing us new buttons? That major Siri upgrade they teased last year? The one that could read your emails and schedule things automatically? Apple said it needs more time to meet quality standards. Which, knowing what we know now about their reasoning research, takes on a whole different meaning, doesn't it? But back to the research, because this is where it gets really interesting. They tested OpenAI's O1 and O3 mini models too. Same exact pattern. Good up to about 8 disks in Tower of Hanoi, then complete collapse by 10. This matches other studies that came out earlier this year. When these reasoning models face genuinely new math proofs, problems they definitely haven't seen before, they score below 5% on average. One model managed 25%. None got perfect scores. The pattern is crystal clear. If the solution exists in their training data, they do fine. The moment you throw something truly novel at them, the illusion crumbles. Apple ran one more test that really drives this home. They used standard math benchmarks, comparing reasoning versus non-reasoning versions of the same models. On Math 500, an older, well-known dataset, both versions performed roughly the same. But on newer tests like AIM 2024 and 2025, the reasoning models did better on the older test but worse on the newer one. Here's the kicker. Human test takers actually found AIM 2025 easier than AIM 2024, but the AI models struggled more with the newer test. Why? Because the older test had probably leaked into their training data. The newer test exposed what the older ones had hidden. And then there's this detail that perfectly illustrates what's really happening. Claude 3.7 Sonnet could execute over 100 correct moves on Tower of Hanoi before making a mistake. But in river crossing puzzles, failed after just five moves, even though the solution only needed 11 total. The difference? There are thousands of Tower of Hanoi examples online, especially for 10 disks. River crossing with multiple pairs? Much rarer in training data. We're not seeing reasoning. We're seeing the exact boundary where pattern matching stops working. Look, this doesn't mean AI is useless or fake. Pattern matching is incredibly powerful. It's how humans solve tons of problems too. But there's a crucial difference. When humans hit the limits of pattern matching, we can often push through with genuine logical reasoning. We can work through novel problems step by step, even when they don't match anything we've seen before. These AI models, despite their elaborate thinking processes, they seem to hit a hard wall. No amount of computational power or fancy reasoning traces can push them past that boundary. Some researchers think we can fix this with better training. Others believe we've hit a fundamental limitation and need entirely new approaches. But here's what Apple's research really exposes. We've been measuring AI progress with the wrong metrics. We got so excited by elaborate reasoning traces that we forgot to check if they actually make sense. We saw step-by-step -step thinking and assumed it was like human reasoning. What if it's not? What if it's just pattern matching with extra steps, dressed up to look like thought? This research forces us to confront something uncomfortable. Maybe the path to artificial general intelligence doesn't run through scaling up current approaches. Maybe we need fundamentally different architectures. Maybe we've been building on quicksand. The stakes couldn't be higher. Companies are betting billions on reasoning models. Entire career trajectories are built around them. Consumers are starting to expect human-level reasoning from AI. Apple just suggested we might be building castles in the air. But you know what? Maybe that's exactly what we needed. Sometimes the most important research isn't about building up. It's about tearing down illusions and forcing us to see clearly. Because if we're going to build truly intelligent systems, we need to understand what intelligence actually looks like. And apparently, it's not what we thought. The question now is, what do we do with this knowledge? Do we double down on current approaches and try to push past these limitations? Or do we admit we might have been barking up the wrong tree and start over? Honestly, I think that's the most exciting question in AI right now. And I can't wait to see how the story unfolds. What do you think? Are we witnessing the limits of current AI or just growing pains that better engineering can solve? Have we been fooled by the illusion of thinking? 
Or are we still on track to genuine AI reasoning? The debate is just getting started. And frankly, it's about time.